Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today we're going to have a look at a little knife by Colonial. This is from their Swiss Master series. Stated around the mid 80s to early 90s. I've always thought that the Swiss Masters came with the red scales, but here we go, it's a very rare blue one. Uh, definitely signs of carry on this, so, uh, but the tools seem pretty good, although I don't think they've been used that much. Unfortunately the logo and the name Alabama Forestry Association has been embossed into the side, so that can't be removed. But I'm kind of liking it, so yeah, I don't really want to move it now. I thought I did when I first got it, but anyway. Alright, let's look at the tools. So first we have a reamer on this side. It's a nice flat blade reamer. I don't really like this style, but it seems to work well. There's no signs of use on that blade. Kind of just remind me of some of the Japanese style reamers. Um, yeah, it's sort of not really my cup of tea, but I guess it would just work if you really needed it too, so... I don't really seem to be have a problem with it. Next we have a pair of scissors. These scissors have been pretty good actually. I've tried them out on some cardboard and some paper and they work pretty much just the same as a Victorian Ox would. Uh, they, they look cheap but they do function well. So and there's a little bit of wobble in them too. So yeah, uh, there, there it is. So. It's not too bad, but, I mean, yeah, if, if it works, it works. I mean, I prefer a Victorinox one, right? Yeah, there is a pen blade in here, but it likes to rip my nail off. Maybe I can get it out with my scissors. Oh, it's going to hurt my nail. Excellent. Oh, actually, I'll try this one. Try this now. Yeah, here we go. I don't know if it's just the pivot. Maybe it just needs a bit of oil. Give it a bit of love. It's really exactly what you'd expect of a pen knife, very similar to what you'd find in a Victorinox or a Venga. you notice that it's right in the middle of the handle, not on the edge like you find in a Victorinox. Nice and sharp. And that's quite surprising because this is these were quite cheap when they came out, so they weren't they were very budget knives, so you wouldn't expect them to be very good quality or good material or even sharp. And then again, these are made in the USA, so you probably have to expect that there is some pride in their workmanship. And next we have the main blade. So, nice big fat blade, just like you'd expect. Again, right in the middle of the handle, so it's really good for left, right, left handers and right handers. And it's here we find our one and only tank stamp, so it's Colonial Province USA Stainless. Let's get that into focus for you. Come on, there we go. You can definitely tell there's some heat treading on this blade. Nice and sharp. Maybe not as sharp as a Victorinox out of the box, but still pretty good. And next on the list we've got a cap lifter and large screwdriver. It's got quite sharp edges to it. There's one side that's been grounded down, you can see that there, the grind, and that's really got sharp edges. But the other side isn't as sharp, so... That grind's got definitely something to do with it, but very nice. I like it very much. It's quite thick, actually. Have a look how thick that is. Now, opposite that, we have a can opener and small screwdriver, just like a Victorinox, but once again, you can see a nice big grind on, on that, quite a rough grind, and uh, gives everything quite a sharp edge. So I'm quite sure this will work very well, uh, just like any Victorinox. Again, it's a very thick blade, so um, yeah, no, no issues with it snapping or anything like that. Now next we have the controversial tool. This is the wood saw. And uh, if you remember this, the embossing on the side, it was for the Forestry Association. Uh, this is probably the only tool I could say that has been used. It is very blunt, very worn down, so it's got quite a bit of wear on there. I wouldn't have any issues rubbing this over sort of my uh, my sensitive parts, and um, without any concern for it tearing the skin. You can see here, the whole weight of the tool is now on on my finger, and absolutely nothing at all. Even on the edges, it's just it feels very rough. Even in the back of my hand, where the skin's a bit soft, you know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have any issues rubbing rubbing that all over my myself, and yeah, that just wouldn't do anything. Um, so yeah, a lot of wear on that, so that's just expected for that tool. 
So what do we have next? So uh, yeah, large screwdriver. So sorry, large Phillips. Um, yeah, seems okay. Um, just like every other one, has a little bit of a cheapness around the hinge area, but I don't really see a problem, honestly. Um, yeah, that would work work well just as intended. No issues there. Yeah, because the rim is on the front. Oh no, sorry, not on that side up here. Um, we don't have a reamer on the back, so there's nothing else there at all. There's no toothpicks, nothing. Pretty straightforward, it's nice and simple. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I guess we'll just have to leave it there. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you already haven't done so, and uh, hope to catch you all next time. Hey, right.